This is an experiment. Watch these three short clips and you'll be able to judge the candidates with surprising accuracy based on who they truly are, rather than how others have portrayed them. There's strong science behind this I'll explain at the end. about re-engaging with my faith. I became a father during that period. You know, I, I was very successful professionally. And so you think about the working class family that I'd grown up in. I, actual governing agenda or policy detail behind it, that is the theme of Kamala Harris's entire campaign. Of course, we want to make it easier for elderly Americans to get the care that they need. Is, is a big mistake. And I understand that a lot of Americans, according to that poll, apparently disagree with me and President Trump here, but uh, we want to respect Cal going to be close, but this is where people are making up their mind. And it's very clear that, as you said, Donald Trump is spiraling down unhinged. What worries me about these comments, some of these that are just that we can pay for it by asking those at the top to pay their fair share. This is a, this is a fundamental difference in approaches to it, and we're seeing it working. Um, we're seeing economists talk about... Well, they know how much, uh, they know what's riding on this. Right. They know that uh, those swing states and those counties matter. It's targeted. Uh, they're doing the work. Uh, woke up in Saginaw, Michigan yesterday. This was an experiment. In psychology, thin slicing is the ability to make accurate judgments about people based on brief observations. Studies have confirmed the accuracy of thin slicing. Political consultants know this, so they frame with precision the clips of their candidates they show you. What if instead you viewed thin slices without the framing using random sampling? If you slice through any set of clips, you get rid of the framing. You actually see the candidates as they are. Those six clips you just watched were chosen exactly that way. They're random thin slices of speech, with none of the bias and manipulation often found in political videos. Thin slicing tells us that, statistically speaking, your assessment of these candidates is now as accurate as it would ever be. Good luck! For anyone still interested, I'd like to walk you through how I pick these clips at random. And let me switch to my real voice to emphasize the difference between carefully crafted messaging and authentic speech. Okay, here's the method. You get three public, public interviews, interviews on YouTube. YouTube. You choose 10-second clips using a publicly verifiable random number to represent the start of each clip as a percentage of the video duration. I'm using the sense portion of the Dow Jones closing prices over a period of time. Don't worry about providing context. Providing context leaves room to frame any narrative you want. We've had enough of the consultants and the media trying to frame the context for us. We can figure out the context, as you'll see quickly here. Now let's take a look at the spreadsheet that I'm using to do all this. Right now these are random numbers. I'm going to replace those with the, the last two cents of the uh, last uh, few days of the Dow Jones Industrial Price. And I've got that all in a spreadsheet right here. And I'll just paste on top of this. These 56%, 59%, 81%, they correspond to 56 cents, 59, 81, 80, etc. from the Dow Jones Industrial. So we're not doing any tricks here. Now, let's look at our first attempt. Uh, this first video with Katie Hobbs, it's 16 minutes, 17 seconds. And according to the Dow Jones number, we should go 56% into that, which is 9 minutes, 7 seconds. Let's go ahead and take a look what she said. Specific that you think you know and for those who say we will disqualify this one because it was not showing the speaker she personnel whatever that is is there an, uh, a fault? and we will disqualify this one as well because it is not showing only the speaker any video that doesn't show the speaker in its entirety for 10 seconds we're disqualifying jobs um, because you know at the same time that we're experiencing this a tremendous economic growth people are still struggling even those employed people uh, who can't afford housing who are being pinched are okay so there's our first 10 second full 10 second clip now let's do one from Kerry Lake what you mean by sending the National Guard we will disqualify that one doesn't show Kerry Lake entire in its entirety you know, we've taken plans to some of these cities for affordable housing. Lay it out and we said, we can build this for you and get a whole bunch of affordable housing. And some of the cities will come back and say, well... Okay, so there's our 10-segment clip. And that's our methodology. Let's just go through the rest now. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for other candidates, please leave them in the comments below.